Welcome to this Flipdish POS crash course, where we will cover opening and closing a float session, taking orders for takeaway, collection and delivery and refunding orders. You can skip to any of these topics by using the chapters breakdown in the description of this video. How to place an order using your Flipdish point of sale. This will also be applicable for takeaway orders and dine-in restaurants who do not use pre-selected seating and open table tabs. Start by logging into your Flipdish point of sale using your PIN or RFID card reader. If you have multiple storefronts or brands, click in the top right corner to select which one you wish to order from. Then click on the order or dispatch type you want to place. If you want to add this customer to your database for future targeting with marketing or associate this order to an existing customer profile, click on the person icon in the toolbar between your menu and the order summary then enter the customer details in the relevant fields. Click done if you're adding a new customer or search if you're associating this to a customer's existing profile. Your menu can have color coded categories along the top of the page for added ease of navigation and you can configure your menu to show menu images, names, prices and descriptions or to just show color coded blocks with prices and item names. On the right hand side you will see the order overview. As you select items for the order they will appear here and you will be able to see the total cost in the bottom right corner as you add items. Once your customer has told you what they would like to order you can click on the item and if applicable your modifiers will appear. In this case it's chicken, veggie or vegan and then the option to remove any ingredients making the need for handwritten notes to your chef unnecessary and then you'll have the option to add extras like extra bacon or extra cheese. Click finish in the bottom right corner to add the item to your order summary section on the right hand side, where you will see the order number at the top of the screen. Once the order is finalized, these details will be shown to your chef on the kitchen display screen if you have chosen to use one, or alternatively on the docket coming from the kitchen printer. If you want to edit the order summary items before finalizing the sale, you can just click on the item or modifier and use the plus or minus icons in the bottom right corner of the screen to add or remove items. If you want to add an open item, an item that isn't on your menu but you wish to charge the customer for, click on the three horizontal lines in the toolbar between your menu and the order summary. Then click Open Items. Add the quantity, name, unit price and VAT percentage and any instructions if necessary. Then click Done in the top right corner. If you have a multi-brand restaurant and allow customers to add items from multiple brands onto the same order, you can easily switch between storefronts by clicking on the menu icon between your menu and the order summary, and then click on the storefront you wish to switch to. If you want to add a note for the chef, click on the pen and paper icon in the toolbar between your menu and order summary, and then type your cooking instructions and click done in the top right corner. Finally, let's just add a drink to this order and then move to the payment section. If you want to add a discount to this order, you can click on the label icon in the toolbar between your menu and your order summary. You will then be prompted to enter your five digit PIN number to establish if you have suitable permissions to give a discount. These can be customized and configured in the Flipdish point of sale back office. You will be able to see any pre-configured discounts you may have set up and you'll have the option to enter a voucher code if the customer has a pre-created voucher. And finally, you'll be able to create a once off open discount here as well. Click open discount and then enter the discount code which will appear on your point of sale reports. Choose whether it's a percentage or flat discount, then enter the amount and click done in the top right corner. Now if your customers want to split the bill by item, select the items from the order summary list that the first customer wishes to pay for. Click pay at the bottom of the page to enter the payment screen. Click yes in the pop-up box to confirm that you understand that this is a partial payment. Then click cash or credit depending on which way the customer wishes to pay. Take the payment from the customer. You will now be reverted back to the order summary screen and the paid for items will have a tick beside them. Repeat this process if there are more than two customers. If there are only two customers, click pay at the bottom of the page to enter the payment screen. Click full amount and then click cash or credit depending on which way the customer wishes to pay. Then take the payment from the customer. If the customer isn't splitting the bill by item, just click pay in the bottom right corner without highlighting any of the items and the payment screen will pop up. If you want to split the bill between two or four people, you can select the 25% or 50% option, which will divide up the bill, or you can just type in the exact amount someone wishes to pay manually.
If the customer is willing to pay the full amount, then no action is required. As you see, the total amount appears in the top right corner automatically. You have the option to select cash or credit depending on how the customer wishes to pay. There is also an others option if you have any gift card integrations. So if the order is paid with cash, the cash register will automatically open when you click the cash button. This will not happen for credit card transactions. Instead, the customer will be prompted to enter or tap their card into the card machine. A customer receipt will then be printed automatically. The order will then be sent to the kitchen display screen or the kitchen printer. Once the order is placed and paid, you will either be automatically brought back to the home screen or logged out of the system, allowing the next staff member to log in and place an order. This depends on your POS configuration. How to open and close a float session and check an end of day report on your Flipdish point of sale. Please note you will need to be a staff member with relevant permissions and have access to the Flipdish front of house device. Let's start with opening a session. First, log into your Flipdish point of sale system using your PIN or RFID card reader. You will then see a warning message saying float session is expired or closed. Click here to open caching up screen. Click where it says click here. Enter the amount you want to put in the cash register as a float and then click start session. Before cashing up, you may want to check your end of day report. To do this, log into your Flipdish point of sale using your PIN or RFID card reader. Use the icon with the nine dots in the bottom right corner to open the menu. Then click daily summary. Here you'll be able to change the date at the top of this report using the today button and then choosing a date from the calendar. You will also be able to see float session details, sales cancellations, venue sales, including your marketplaces, dispatch sales, a float session journal, sales summaries, payment method sales, menu category summaries, a cover sales summary, a sales VAT breakdown, sales discounts, sales refunds, and sale charges. This information is also customizable in the Flipdish back office. You can click print at the top of the page to print the information shown. Take note of the closing balance in the float session section as this will be relevant for withdrawing profit. Then click exit in the top right corner. Now let's look at withdrawing cash profit from the register and closing the float session. Use the icon with the nine dots in the bottom right corner to open the menu. Then click cashing up. Enter the amount you wish to withdraw from the register. If you plan to withdraw only the cash profit from the day and leave the float in the register, then simply minus the opening cash from the closing balance on your end of day report. This will give you your cash profit. Then type in the amount you wish to withdraw. Click on withdraw and then select transfer to safe. The register will now open and you can withdraw the money. This withdrawal will be recorded in your expenses report and will be assigned to the staff member who withdrew it. The cash balance in your end of day report will now just show the float entered at the start of the day. Click close session and then click OK when prompted. The next day, when your staff members log in to open a new float session, they will be able to see the last available cash amount in the till by accessing the daily sales summary report via the nine dots icon menu. This will let them know what the last amount left in the till from the night before was, and all they'll have to do is enter the amount shown there in the cashing up section and click start session to start their day again and begin taking orders. How to partially or fully refund an order using your Flipdish point of sale. Please note that refunds can only be issued from the point of sale for orders made through Flipdish websites, apps, QR codes, kiosks, or point of sale products. Marketplace orders need to be refunded directly through the marketplace. You will need to be a staff member with relevant permissions, and you will need to have access to a Flipdish point of sale front of house device. Start by logging into your Flipdish point of sale using your PIN or RFID card reader. Use the icon with the nine dots in the bottom right corner to open the menu. Then click Sales History. Use the search bar at the top of the page to locate the order using the customer's name, phone number or order number. If the order you wish to refund wasn't made on the day you were processing the refund, you can use the Today button at the top of the page to change the date of the search. You can also use the Filter button to customize the search criteria. Click on the order and then click on the open order button on the right hand side of the screen. 
If you plan to partially refund the order, select the items from the order summary on the right hand side you wish to refund and then click cancel. If you wish to cancel the order in full, skip this step and move straight to the cancel button. Enter your PIN to confirm you have the relevant permissions to cancel and refund orders. Then select the cancellation reason. If you are refunding in full, you will need to click the full amount button. However, if you are partially refunding the order, the amount for the selected items will be pre-populated in the top right corner of the pop-up box. Use the log on the left hand side of the pop-up box to establish if the order was originally paid for by cash or by credit card. You will see the phrase mode.cash or mode.credit depending on which way the order was originally paid. Click the relevant button that corresponds to the original payment method. If you select cash, the register will open automatically and you can return the cash to the customer. If you select credit, the money will be transferred back to the customer's account within the usual bank transfer times, which are country dependent. And finally, click close. If you fully refund the customer, you will now be logged out of the system or returned to the home screen, depending on your POS configurations. If you've only partially refunded the customer, you'll be able to see a strike through on the items that you've just refunded. You can then click the exit button and you will now be logged out of the system or returned to the home screen, again, depending on your POS configurations. How to place a delivery order on your Flipdish point of sale. When a customer calls you to place a delivery order over the phone, start by logging into your Flipdish point of sale using your PIN or RFID card reader. Then click on delivery. The first thing you'll be asked to do is enter the customer's name or phone number. We recommend you just enter the phone number here. The system will search the database to find the customer's details. If this is a new customer, click create new customer in the pop-up box. Enter the customer's name and address. We recommend using postcodes to find your customer's address. If you have our caller ID function enabled, when a customer calls you, you'll be prompted to select delivery or collection by a pop-up box in the bottom right corner of the screen. Once you've selected the dispatch type here, the system will automatically populate the customer's phone number. And if they've ordered from you before, it'll also populate their name and any other details you've previously saved on the next screen. Once you've completed the form, click done. Then add the relevant items to the order. If you aren't familiar with how to add items and customize your order, please see our video on placing an order with your Flipdish point of sale. If the customer is placing a pre-order, this is an order that isn't to be collected ASAP, click the clock icon in the toolbar to add time to the order. Then select the day and the time the customer wishes to collect the order and then click done in the top corner of the pop-up box. The system will automatically hold the order until your preparation time is reached. It will then send it to the kitchen printer or the kitchen display screen. For example, if your customer wants the order delivered at 11 p.m. and your prep time and delivery time is 45 minutes, this order will be sent to the kitchen at 10.15 p.m. If you're using your own fleet of drivers, you can then assign a driver to the order by clicking on the bike icon in the toolbar and then select which driver you wish to add to the order. This can also be set after the completion of the order using the KDS screen or the driver sales report on the point of sale device, where you'll also be able to see all your driver sales for the day. For this order, we'll process it as an ASAP delivery. If the customer wishes to pay cash on delivery, click the exit button in the bottom right corner to leave the order unpaid and to send the order to the kitchen for preparation. When the driver returns with the cash after the delivery, log into your Flipdish point of sale using the PIN or RFID card reader and click the outstanding box at the bottom of the page where you'll find every unpaid order. Use the search bar to find the order, then click on the order and then click on the open order button to open it. Then complete the cash payment process as normal by clicking pay and then cash and then place the money returned by the driver into the till when it opens automatically. However, if the customer wishes to pay by card over the phone, click the pay button at the bottom of the page, then click on the others button and then click over phone payment. Direct the customer to check their text messages or email in their inbox, depending on how you have the system set up. You can choose to end the call now or wait until the customer has completed the transaction. The customer will then receive a text message or email with a payment link. They can then click the link. They will have the option to review their order. They will have the option to enter a voucher code and have the option to enter notes for your chef. Once they've done that, they can choose between card or Google and Apple Pay as their payment type, and then they'll receive a payment confirmation message as soon as their order is being placed. 
Only at this point will the order be sent to the kitchen. How to place a collection order on your Flipdish point of sale. When a customer calls you to place a collection order over the phone, start by logging into your Flipdish point of sale using your PIN or RFID card reader. Then click on collection. The first thing you'll be asked to do is enter the customer's name and or phone number. We recommend you just enter the customer phone number here. The system will search your database to find the customer details. If this is a new customer, click create new customer in the pop-up box. Enter the customer's name. If you have our caller ID feature enabled, when a customer calls you, you will be prompted to select collection or delivery by a pop-up box in the bottom right corner of the screen. And once you've selected the dispatch type there, the system will automatically populate the customer's phone number. And if they've ordered from you before, it'll also populate their name and any other details you've previously saved on the next screen. Once you've completed the form, click done. Then add the relevant items to the order. If you aren't familiar with how to add items and customize your order, please see our video on placing an order with your Flipdish point of sale. If the customer is placing a pre-order, this is an order that isn't to be collected as soon as possible. Click the clock icon in the toolbar to add time to the order. Then select the time and the day the customer wishes to collect the order at and then click done in the top corner of the pop-up box. The system will automatically hold the order until your preparation time is reached in advance of the collection time and will then send it to your kitchen printer or your kitchen display screen. For example, if the customer wants to collect his order at 11 p.m. and your prep time is 20 minutes, this order will automatically be sent to the kitchen at 10.40 p.m. And as the customer will be collecting this order, no payment will be taken at this time. So click the exit button in the bottom right corner to leave the order unpaid and send the order to the kitchen for preparation. When the customer arrives to collect the order, log into your Flipdish point of sale using your PIN or RFID card reader and then click Outstanding at the bottom of the page. Here you'll find all your unpaid orders. Ask the customer for their name or mobile number and use the search box at the top of the page to find the order. Click on the order and then click the Open Order button to open it. Now that the customer is standing in front of you, you can complete the payment process as you normally would with a takeaway order. Click pay and then select cash or card. If you want to learn how to get more from your Flipdish point of sale or explore all the functionality it has to offer, go to academy.flipdish.com and take one of our POS courses or book a virtual training session with our education team. Links to both of these resources are in the description of this video.